Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Vardet's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap not yet sprung. Barith believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abbot Owen? King Neil and King Donal were doubtless seeking to cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Barith's suspicions? Owen is the Abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of a... friend. You mean a pagan? Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did. But King Flan is not convinced. You must pull out a clawhorn now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barth McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barth. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen, what's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. We're under attack! Come on! Drive them from the heart of the village! <laughs>
We held them off. At a great cost. Eivor, where is Barith? Barith, can you hear me? Barith Makiva! Go, Zudin. Have you seen King Barith? Aye. He was headed towards the farm on the edge of the village. A cold hand grips my heart. End, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. <laughs> no one knew your true measure. Except you, cousin. You you never doubted me. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, Barith. I'll see to it. Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Sigfrid is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place. It can be a legacy. Flan must back him. Have him swear by his god. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. Will be done. The hero's funeral. Arith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. <laughs> but fair. He saw more clearly than I, and I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north, what of Sigfrith? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics! Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Sigfrith isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterwards... The fate of this land will be in your hands. Yours and Sigfrith's. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There's no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... <laughs> Tell Flan I'll come to him after I have arranged things with Sigfrith. Tell him yourself. 
I'm not leaving yet. Ciao.